Mr. Toner, welcome to the Washington DC. Thank you very much. So, uh, will you be a, a speaker at the conference? No, I'm not a speaker. I'm here to uh, collect an award. Uh, as a scientist, I'm in the business meeting because they are giving me the Leadership Scientist Award. And uh, so I'm here uh, for that purpose. But getting an award from the business community means a lot. Of course. So you are uh, in science. You're doing researches in bio... Biomedical sciences and engineering. And I was uh, trained as a mechanical engineer at uh, the Istanbul Technical University. Then I went to, uh, I came to U.S. and uh, studied biomedical sciences and medicine. I'm not a, a, a doctor. I'm not a physician, but I'm a doctor of science. So that's what I do at Harvard Medical School, Mass General Hospital, and MIT. I have a research lab, and I do uh, research, and I try to translate them. Well, we are actually very proud of you as uh, Turkish Americans because you have very, very important researchers on cancer cells. Yes, I, one of the uh, major areas we work lately is uh, uh, is related to cancer. Uh, cancer spreads from our blood circulation, solid tumor cancers, but the cells are extremely rare. We developed a technology that can find these cells. Just to put in a perspective, 70 million people in Turkey we can find one person you're looking for in two seconds. Wow. So we can, we, we can look at 30, 35 million blood cells to find that one tumor cell. And, uh, and we can find them in, if, even if they are hidden among 10 billion other cells. So we've developed very sensitive technologies that can find these extremely rare events with major clinical consequences. Perfect. So if we talk about Turkish-American relations in terms of business and also science and technology, uh, what do you see right well, now? And um, it, It's booming in many respects and uh, because uh, the critical mass of people, uh, uh, Turkish-Americans and Turks in the United States, has grown dramatically and many of them are very successful. As a result, the links are getting stronger. In the past, the links were more emotional. Now it's much more based on business science and doing things together because we have the critical mass in the United States and uh, that makes everything different. I think also there are collaborations between universities and you're also involved in, in an organization named TASA here? Yes, I'm involved in a number of things. So I go to Turkey five, six times every year. And so my ties are very strong with my country. Uh, TASA, Turkish Association of Scientists, American Scient uh, Turkish Scientists in America, it's a bridge for science between uh, Turkey and U.S. And, uh, but I also serve in uh, uh, various committees and uh, I'm a trustee of Özgün University in Turkey. So I do play a lot of role in uh, helping science in Turkey as well as young people. Yes. Lastly, so as you said, there are lots of uh, students coming from Turkey uh, and it's growing every day, every year. Uh, but there are also complaints that this is a brain immigration from Turkey and those students are not really uh, going back to Turkey. What do you think about that? Uh, I'm not a believer of that. And uh, I think that was true when uh, the Turkish Republic first started. Where our popular, I, we didn't have a young country. Now we have a very young country and uh, one of the youngest, if, if not the youngest in Europe and uh, 70 million people and uh, I don't think we have to worry about uh, uh, brain uh, going to other places. We need to more worry about creating an ecosystem so the brain stays in Turkey. And we have plenty of smart people in Turkey and um, some come in here, some stay in there. I think we need to focus on Turkey and making it less bureaucratic, more entrepreneurial and young, uh, oriented towards young people achieving their dream. Well, I said lastly, but one more question. So, as you know, there there is a political turmoil in Turkey right now, and uh, lots of academics uh, affected by this turmoil. What do you think about that? Well, uh, the freedom of academicians is extremely important. No one can deny that. 
and I think there's been things that are not so good for Turkish uh, scientists. And uh, my hope is that it's a passing thing and uh, we will go uh, beyond this uh, current state and uh, that our country is going through on many fronts, not just in academia but in business world as well as in political world. And uh, those are not those things are not making us uh, look good outside the Turkey and that has a negative impact on our country. So we need to fix some of those issues. Thank you very much. Thank you.